Hello again and welcome to investingsuccess.ca. In the short video that you're about to watch, I'm going to show you how science and nature work in harmony with the financial markets. Take a look. Our discussion begins with a look at the golden mean, 1.618, denoted by the Greek letter phi. In 1202, Italian mathematician Leonardo Bonacci, otherwise known as Fibonacci, revived the notion of the golden mean. The golden mean actually goes back to ancient Egyptian times, and for those of you that follow Egyptian history, the angle of inclination of the pyramid at Cheops is actually mathematically and trigonometrically related to the golden mean, 1.618. Now in Fibonacci's mathematical proof, he begins with two squares, positioned one on top of the other, and mathematically he denotes that the proportion or the ratio of A to B is similar to the proportion or the ratio of A plus B to A. Mathematically, he solves that using quadratic equations. He comes up with a unique solution to the quadratic equation. That unique solution is 1.618, and that is what is called the golden mean, or phi. Now, if you take phi, and take the inverse square root of phi, the inverse square root of phi squared, the inverse square root of phi cubed, phi to the fourth, phi to the fifth, phi to the sixth, and so on, you may recognize the output of those equations. Numbers like 0 0.486, 0 0.618, 0 0.382, those are what market traders typically refer to as the Fibonacci numbers. And for those of you that trade the markets using recognized software programs, your software program may have built into it a Fibonacci function that allows you to calculate things like Fibonacci retracements. Now, let's introduce a little bit of astrology to the argument. In this crude little sketch that you see before you, I've depicted the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. The Earth and the various planets rotate around the Sun, each in their own unique orbital pattern. But these orbital patterns are confined to a plane of motion, and it's called the ecliptic plane. Now, we all know that the Moon, of course, rotates around the Earth, and it too is confined to a plane of motion. Let's call it the lunar ecliptic. Mathematically, by definition, if you have two planes that are not parallel to each other, they will intersect. Where the lunar ecliptic intersects with the ecliptic of the Earth, well, we call those points of intersection the nodes. Astrologers denote them as the North Node and the South Node, and in fact, if you open the tables of data in any ephemeris, you will see for any given day the position of the various planets, the position also of the North Node. Now, what's interesting about the North Node is it takes approximately 18 or 19 months for the node to transit through a given sign of the zodiac. In order for the north node to make a full, complete trip around the 12 signs of the zodiac takes 18.6 years. Now, this is where we can apply the notion of the north node and some Fibonacci mathematics to the financial markets. Take a look at the following chart. This is a chart of the S&P 500 index monthly continuation. You'll see that I've put a number of circles on the chart. Each one of those circled areas denotes the time at which the North Node entered a new sign of the Zodiac. I want you to look very closely at these circled areas. Notice how they have a tendency to align themselves very closely with pivotal swing highs, pivotal swing lows, and also some significant highs and significant lows on the markets. This is a weekly continuation chart of the S&P 500 index from 2008 up until the present time. On this chart, I have indicated the times when the north node of the moon has transited into a new sign of the zodiac. You can see that during 2009, 
it was transiting through the sign of Aquarius. In the latter part of 09, it shifted into the sign of Capricorn. In 2011, it transited into the sign of Sagittarius. And just recently, in fact, on the 29th of August of 2012, uh, the North Node of the Moon transited into the zodiac sign Scorpio, and it will remain there for the next 18 or 19 months. Now, here's where it gets very interesting. What I've done is taken these spans of time during which the North Node is in a given sign of the Zodiac. And I have subdivided those time spans according to the golden mean, 1.618. And I've put those subdivisions on the chart, and they're expressed as the 38.2% movement, the 48.6%, the 61.8%, the 78.6%. I want you to take a look at these various subdivisions of time and you will notice that they align reasonably well with pivotal swing highs and pivotal swing lows on the markets. And the one shining example that I really want to point out to you, take a look at the left-hand side of the chart. You'll recognize the March 2009 market lows when we all thought the markets were going to zero and that the economy was seizing up forever. To a person using Fibonacci mathematics, and some very basic astrology, they would have had a different opinion. The North Node of the Moon at that particular time was transiting its way through the sign of Aquarius. The March 2009 lows align with 78.6% of the time that the North Node was spending in the sign of Aquarius. So an alert trader would have been watching for this 78.6% of this time to elapse. He would have been looking for some sort of a turn in the markets. And in fact, the March 2009 lows were it. Now, recently we moved, I said, into the sign of Scorpio. It appears as though the markets may be registering some sort of a, a small peak. So traders need to be very cautious and very alert. Whether we will move higher from here remains to be seen. We could well do but um, we certainly have seen a little bit of hesitancy on the markets as we have made this shift into the sign of Scorpio. Now what does this all entail if we look forward during the next 18 to 19 months that the North Node is in the sign of Scorpio? What are some key dates that we have to watch out for? Well, take a look. Here they are. So, North Node of the Moon is in the sign of Scorpio. It will remain there for 77 weeks from September 1, 2012. It will transit into the sign of Libra, February 19th of 2014. So let's take that 77-week time span that's out before us. Let's break it down into various Fibonacci components. I've given you three examples here. The 38.2%, the 48.6%, the 78.6%. 38.2% of the coming 77 weeks will put us into the third week of March in 2013. Watch for a potential pivotal swing high or swing low during that time. Now, what's interesting about March of 2013 is it is four years and a little bit from the March 2009 lows. If there was to be a pivotal low in March of 2013, that would align perfectly well with the concept of the four-year market cycle. So I'm watching March of 2013 very, very closely. Likewise, watching May of 2013 and October of 2013 for pivotal swing highs or swing lows on the market. And this brings us to the end of this short little video. So the next time that you're reading an analyst's report, watching an analyst on television perhaps, just remember, there's more to the markets than price earnings ratios, cash flow multiples. There's more to the markets than what appears to be happening in the Eurozone. I've shown you in this video some very basic stuff that you can apply to your own trading. I've shown you the Earth's ecliptic plane, the Moon's ecliptic plane, where those two planes intersect, we call them the nodes. Astrology makes full use of the concept of the nodes, in particular the north node. It takes the north node of the moon approximately 
77 to 79 weeks to transit through a given sign of the zodiac. Watch your charts of the major indices each time the north node moves into a different sign of the zodiac. For the time that a, the north node is in a given sign of the zodiac, take that time span, break it down according to Fibonacci sacred mathematics, phi 1.618, the golden mean. And I think if you do that, you will start to see that there is a lot more to these markets than meets the eye. The financial markets truly are a shining example of nature and science working together in harmony. Thank you very much for watching. Good trading. Have a great day.